Happy Wednesday, everyone. This is a pick a card reading for March 31st, Wednesday, last day of March. Um, you pick a card, it's your main energy, and I do pull them all together, and March 31st, birthdays will do you next. So if you pick card number one, Devil, Major Arcana. Hmm. I feel someone may throw a wrench in your way today, or this is someone that you need to realize are, is actually taking advantage of you. All right. And either you've been putting up with it, but you know, this is a day to slow down, think about, um, who is in your surroundings. I feel there is a manipulative or shady person around too. Um, for some, I just feel this is also dealing with fears and, um, I want to say don't give up on something. There is a decision you're going to have to make, and this is future plans, and this is for your plan ahead. Um, travel, movement, I am feeling that energy. For some of you, maybe dealing with a Scorpio. I do feel this is a challenging day with temptation as well. Um, so, you know, it can be a good thing. For some of you, it can be a strong attraction, and I do pick up a Scorpio for some reason. But this is definitely, um, for some, there's few energies I'm feeling here. For some out there, this is like making some kind of travel plans. Something you deeply desired with somebody. And you may be traveling in the future together with someone. That is a thing. But it's a thing to slow down and rethink things. It is the devil too. So there is something that is warning about the future, about it, or a, a person or situation now. Hmm. Okay, if you pick card number two, you have the three of pentacles. For some of you, this is like working on some kind of project, um, learning something, um, speaking, writing, creative energy. Something you've been working on or you've been contemplating, this could be a future plan or making some adjustments with a project or business or even with finances will come to a completion, you will, um, it's ending and you're on the right path. I feel this is future financial planning as well. There could be some kind of talks about money as well. For some of you, you could be like, um, entertaining a, an idea of, um, um, I don't know, planning a party, planning a get together and people, you know, like donating, uh, for some kind of event or some kind of, um, I don't know, somebody's birthday party is possible or something like that. Either way, I feel there's going to be some good news that's going to come in um, connected to finances as well. And, you know, it's like the work you put in and something is going to pay off. And there is a sense of now you have extra money or um, you'll be able to plan ahead like some kind of event or some celebration. That's what I'm feeling for some of you. Okay, but you're on the right path here. Pick card number three. You have the Nine of Swords. Okay, so some of you could be bogged down with too many responsibilities, okay? Not everything is your job is what I'm feeling here for some of you. Um, you're going to have to be patient with some people around you, but you're going to have to delegate some kind of responsibilities or take care of something. Either there is some some um, a mediation that you need to talk to someone about or um, about this, or someone needs to talk to you about it. The energy could be both going both ways. Um, if you've been taking care of others and if you've been nurturing others and it's stressing you out, you need to talk um, to them and clear the air. I do pick up the energy of Aquarius and a Cancer. Um, so it's time to be patient too. For some of you, this is like money, um, a job maybe you're waiting for too. So patience is going to pay off and definitely try to not worry or stress too much about it. Okay. Devil, three of pentacles, nine of swords. All right, this is a day that I feel take breaks, rest for some of you, watch um, any kind of addictions too, because I feel that this can affect your health. Um, for others, I really feel you need to just take some breaks. It's time to separate from anything that's negative. Um, there's a recovery here too, but, but I feel um, losing yourself in music is going to soothe you. 
that will bring you some kind of um, soothing energy. We're just feeling trapped and stuck and restricted again. Do not dwell on disappointments, okay? Because I do feel a good deal is coming through, too. Um, I feel when you least expect it, you know, it's like you get that just really dark moment and then all of a sudden the energy turns around. I also pick up a Sagittarius type of energy is surrounded here, too. I feel in that it gives something like three days, the next three days, um, and this could be money coming through, good news, or something that you've been wanting, okay? Well, this is the reading for Wednesday, March 31st. I hope you have a wonderful day, and happy birthday if you were born today, March 31st. This is a very quick and general reading. This is your soul or your theme and your wish card, so you can make your wish. Three of Pentacles. Wow, Three of Pentacles popped up today, too. So Three of Pentacles is your soul or your theme, to me, this is whatever, it, it's a very creative thing. There could be a lot of interviews, public speaking, writing, creativity. Some of you may be going back to school, okay? So there is something there. I do like that and getting people's attention. Um, there is a change in direction of career and maybe even thoughts of moving. So these are settlements and negotiations with finances and money. Um, this is future plans and savings as well. Financial independence is coming through here, too. This could be serious talks of um, division of um, funds for some, okay? So I do see that energy. Um, Self-reliance is very important when it comes to finances. This is a year of also doing your research, doing a lot of paperwork. I see a lot of paperwork, documents, research, um, information, and business. A lot of business and paperwork for some of you, okay? Okay. This is a year to be careful of your money, too, where you invest it and any deception with money. There could be some lessons. So if someone, you know, someone may want to steal from you. So anything that sounds too good to be true in a business deal, it could be. OK, when it comes to work, fine uh, work, career and school, I do feel a stressful period will end if you've been going through some stresses there. Um, do not focus on disappointments or people that hurt you. I feel there's something you feel that, that you, uh, you have been done wrong by, okay? Um, it's a fresh new beginning. It's a sense of starting over. Some of you, um, there can be a new job coming and, and you may end a job abruptly somewhere, somehow. When it comes to finances, your luck is turning around. So if you've been struggling, it should, um turn around for you. I do see luck on your side and abundant energy with finances. Um, expect the unexpected. There's a, like a turn of events and it, it looks very positive to me. Okay. When it comes to love, if you are single, I do feel some of you will make a connection with somebody who is very highly intelligent um, or in a high position in some kind of field. Um, I do feel that energy as well. Um, this person is more intellectual. It does, doesn't does speak more of their feelings, so expect that as well. But there is power to this person. I like that. If you are in a relationship, if, if it has not been going, do, uh, going well, this is a year you may actually contact an attorney and um, start proceedings for a separation or divorce. For others of you, it's like you're taking your power back and you're wanting the truth about something and the truth will come. Um, it's like taking more power in your relationship. All relationships you may be dealing with, a lot of business um, networking, you may be uh, meeting people who are going to tell you like it is. There's more honesty in relationships, okay? All right, your wish card for the year is the Page of Pentacles. What I feel for some of you is it's going to take uh, you patience, patience. If it doesn't come through this solar year, it will next. But it's it's a yes, but I, it may not come through this solar year. Patience is needed. For others, I do feel it's it's you have to make your affirmation or your wish a little bit differently. So if you've been saying or um, making your affirmation one way, change it up a little bit and make it more specific, and then it's going to come to fruition. I feel it's a strong yes. The important numbers for your solar year are 11, 10, 1, 7, uh, 6, 9, and 3. 
I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a wonderful solar year ahead. And everyone else, a wonderful uh, Wednesday and the last day of March. Bye for now.